so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. Monthly tarot reading February uh, 2020, and uh, in case any of you guys is interested into a, a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below, and uh, there you are going to find a, a link to my website. So, uh, that being said, this is going to be an 8-card uh, tarot spread, and the very first one here, which is the very topic of your month, Sagittarius, that is going to be the 10 of Wands. Followed by the next one here, which stands as the energies which are supporting the topic of the week, that uh, of the month, excuse me, that is going to be the King of Pentacles. Followed by the next one here, that it is the challenges that you need to overcome, and that will be the Six of uh, Wands. Followed by the next one, which represents the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the month, that is going to be the Eight of Cups. Afterwards, what we do have it is how people are going to take on you, what kind of an impression you're going to leave into people around you. Uh, no surprise that we do have a card like the Two of Wands into that position, followed by the next one here, which stands as the um, what is going to help your long-term goal and what is going to improve your circumstances drastically. Uh, that is going to be the judgment, and uh, afterwards what we do have it is what is going to hurt your long-term goal and what is going to deter deteriorate your uh, circumstances. That is to be the Eight of Wands. And the last one here, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Sagittarius, that will be the uh, Knight of Wands. So, um, my fellow Sagis, um, I could take that this reading applies to me as well a lot, because um, I do have a um, double stellium, I think it's Sagittarius. I'm sure that I do have one stellium in Sagittarius and my moon is in Sagittarius. Actually, all of my planets are clustered into Scorpio and Sagittarius. So, uh, and I'm ascended Aquarius. So from Scorpio to Aquarius all applies to me as well. So guys, uh, it will be a very good month, okay? But uh, it will be a very good month in terms of um, being productive and in terms of, you know, achieving things. That's on one side. Now on the flip side with those two cards, there are to be a lot of things that we have to do throughout the month of February. Now, as you can see here, the energies are the energies of the King of Pentacles. And that means that everything we put in we are going to be able to get back with interest, okay? So I can say that this is a fantastic month where, where we invest. As my moon is in Sagittarius, that to me speaks that I have to invest in feelings and in emotions, okay? So if you are Sagittarius rising, then you have to invest in everything, okay? So whatever you invest, you get back from, okay? Uh, because the King of Pentacles points that everything is going to be quite generous around you. So you invest into something and for your investment, you face generosity. You get your things back with interest or you reap results uh, for your labor. So that being said, this is a month where slacking career-wise, it will be unacceptable because you are going to miss a golden opportunities for salary raise, for a prerequisite for promotions as well, to uh, kind of like build up a uh, dividends in front of your boss, in front of your supervisors, and etc. etc. Same thing goes uh, if you have a partner, um, either in career or either in relationship. This is the, the month for you guys of a giving and taking. The more you give, even more you're gonna take out of it, okay? So, uh, however, the topic itself, which is the Ten of Wands, it kind of points that this giving and taking is pretty much set straight. What I mean here it is that this month is going to be very predictable in a sense that there are to be, you are going to be pretty aware what you have to do and how you have to do it. So there are rules, stipulations, and as well in generally code of conduits that you will have to follow without restra restraining your, or straining yourself out of it. What I mean here, it is that your job will require from you to do certain things 
and you have to do those things, nothing less, nothing more, and this is where you are gonna face generosity from the other side, okay? Any personal engravement in there, any attempts to be creative, any attempts to be a smart A, if you will, are gonna be faced with not so very, you know, how can I say it, a exhilarating standpoints here. But uh, the Ten of Wands here points that should you play the rules, uh, by the rules, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well, you are to be rewarded. And uh, for many of you Sagittarius, this reward is going to be an, an amazing opportunity, guys, to move forward. Even more, the Ten of Wanted is the card of power where you have so much on your platter and on your plate, if you will, uh, and you have to control everything of it. And uh, this card is simultaneously a, um, a great deal of achievement and a curse. Because once you achieve something, you understand that the achievement was the easy part of it. Maintaining it, well, that is going to be the hard one, okay? So this is the topic. You invest and then you have to maintain the success you are going to have from those investments. And that is going to be your month. Okay, maintaining the position you get, maintaining the finances you get, maintaining the love you get as well. Okay, so it will that maintenance is going to be different for every single one of you. But the bottom line here it is that throughout the month of February, you are going to get something. Okay, and it's going to be a big thing at the end of the day, and you have to maintain it. You got to do what it what it is needed to maintain it. And this, ma this maintenance is going to be very strict. There are going to be certain things that are required from you and you have to do them. Nothing less, nothing more. So next one, it is the challenge that you will have to face here and that is tightly related to the maintenance. Six of Wands, it kind of points that this month is going to be a month where you are going to feel on the top of the world, that you have achieved something extraordinary here and you are going to realize that that is not the end of the line, okay? There are so much for you to handle from now on, so much from you yet to prove or to achieve as well and etc, etc. And that is to be the challenge. So I uh, take it that way. So you put a big effort, investments as the energies pointed, into certain direction, either love-wise or either career-wise, it doesn't really matter. And you think that you did a great effort, okay? And you are rewarded for that great effort. And now you understand that even more is required from you, okay? And that may appear as a bit of a disappointment to you. Okay, and that is to be the challenge for you, Sagittarius, to shake off that disappointment as quickly as you can, to enjoy the rewards of your labor, because there are to be rewards of your labor, okay? To um, appreciate the recognition you will be given, because you are gonna be given a recognition that you are a handsome guy, for example, or a handsome girl, that you are a cool uh, personality, that you are a fantastic business partner, and so on and so forth. Uh, forth. And keep on doing what you are doing best. You should not. How, I don't know how to say it in English, but it is like be become lazy, right? Just because you have done a great job up until now, that doesn't mean that you are out of the woods. The expectations towards you are not going to drop for even a single bit throughout the month of February. And that's why the Ten of Wands is simultaneously a big progress and a curse. Because you do so well that from there, everybody is expecting from you to do even better than that, okay? And it's uh, it's a bit overwhelming, okay? You, you are gonna have a, a great position, so you're gonna have a lot of power here, but you have to maintain it. You cannot simply sit on it and, and hope that this is gonna be forever. It's gonna be just as, as long as you, um, how can I say it, 
as you manage to maintain it once again. So the gifts and the blessings for you are going to be of the Eight of Cups. And this is actually a very good card in terms of gifts and blessings. It does point that there are to be a lot of refreshing things that are to happen to you throughout the month of February. Very interesting stuff as well. And on top of it, as a gift and blessings, the Eight of Cups points that certain things that have not happened back in the days. Okay, so you have that bitter taste that um, a, a relationship proved to be futile, for example, or a, a career um, imploded, right, or a, a, a business fall into ruin actually had its purpose because if they didn't. Um, if they didn't fail, then you would not be able to have that amazing month throughout this month of February. And uh, actually you would have missed uh, more than you actually would have gained back in the days. Uh, in our country, we do have that exp expression that um, they try to gouge your eyes out, but instead they fixed your eyelashes. So, uh, 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 you thought that were kind of like uh, the circumstances meant to bring you down but what they did actually it is to lay foundations for you to rise even higher and this is what happens here additionally to that the eight of uh, cups here as a gift and blessings points that um Nothing is going to be, uh, nothing is, even, even if there are enterprises which are going bad in terms of love or in terms of uh, career, they're not going to be, they're not going to reach that point of being so bad uh, for you to kind of like abandon them or lose hope that things are going to improve because they are going to improve. Uh, the roller coaster that you may be riding here is going to go uh, many more times upwards rather than downwards throughout the month of February. That is going to be a gift and a blessing for you. Now, next one it is how people are going to see you. We do have the two of uh, wands and people are going to see you as a someone who is looking around, as a, someone who is reconnoitering how to cash in on the power, how to cash in on the influence that you're going to have, how to cash in on the investments that you have made and what to make more out of it. So people are going to see you, for example, you are investing in love and people are going to see you how you can expand on that love. You started a relationship, people are going to start seeing you, you thinking how you can transform it into engagement, how you can transform it into marriage, for example, how to make it bigger in general. People are going to see you as a person, uh, as a person who always look forward for even more, for even something bigger. So um, from that standpoint, People are not going to understand your battle here, that you, have, that you actually need to do a lot to maintain your positions, to maintain the love, to maintain the financial success as well, to maintain your career and etc, etc. And it's kind of like this kind of a situation where people think that you are having the... Um, the spoils of your life. It's like everything is going so well and you don't have to do anything about it. They are not seeing what it is happening behind the curtains. And uh, at that point, you may face a lot of, uh, how can I say, the um, a stupid statements and, and testimonials as well. Uh, that uh, if I were at your shoes, uh, for example, but you are not in my shoes okay you you have no idea what kind of a battle i am into so people are not going to see that what my point here is that people are going to see only the pros into your positions they are not going to see the cons of it and you have a lot to tackle but once again it's not going to be without a reward at all actually the reward is going to be if not anything else reciprocal to the um efforts you are incorporating into your career or into your relationship as well. So what can help your long-term goal here? What is going to improve your circumstances drastically? We have the judgment. And oh man, uh, judgment points that throughout the months, uh, 
there are going to be very, uh, how can I say it, uh, faithful circumstances that you need to attend with extra care and extra cautions. So uh, judgment, uh, those circumstances are going to involve either union or reunion. Okay, so we may talk about reconciliation or reunion with an ex-business uh, partner, for example, or just a union with someone. Uh, and also pieces are going to start falling together. It is like the pieces of the puzzle are going to start taking their place where they are supposed to be. So what you have to do here, it is just follow those pieces, nothing else. That being said, what you have to do, it is just follow the flow or, or, or go with the current. Nothing else, once again, nothing more. Follow the rules, just like the start of the reading said. Uh, to give you an example, you set uh, rules into uh, your marriage, follow those rules. Don't try to change them, guys. Just follow those rules. The more you invest into them, the more benefits you're going to reap out of them. Um, you are signed for a certain contract. Follow the rules of the contract. The more you invest into those rules, the more you're going to get out of it. And the next one, it is what is going to deteriorate your circumstances or what is going to hurt your long-term goal. That is going to be the Eight of Wands, and that is exactly the opposite what the judgment points. The Eight of Wands, it is like taking those, uh, how can I say it, openings to change thing to, things around, to uh, have a, a peripheral enterprises, if you will, to try things around, which is something that you don't need it's not just only you don't want it you don't need it at that point because ten of wands with the judgment with the king of pentacles this is something big now for some of you that could be the investment of your life either emotional one or either material one and you don't need to invest in shenanigans aside from some you know quite unproven to be successful very petite and they are not just only small they are petite additional peripheral enterprises that are coming by and they are just going with the flow moving forward and leaving you an attack intact excuse me at all because the eight of wands especially into a, a a negative position it is like shooting in the dark and you have a one target and you try to to kind of like a uh, hit it blindfolded it is almost impossible and the point is that you have a limited uh, let's say bullets or a limited arrows and once you shoot all of them you have nothing else to work with not just only with those peripheral enterprises but also with the main enterprise here which is marked by these three cards the king of pentacles the the ten of uh, wands and the judgment card and as you have such a big potential at the end of the day you are going to be left with nothing so just Focus on your goal. That is what is going to help you get your goal done, not by trying shenanigans around. And the last one is going to be the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Sagittarius. We do have the Knights of Wands. So, first of all, um, you got to seek where your enthusiasm lies with this card. That is the guidance. And also, uh, you, you, you need to identify what is gaining full for you here. And on top of it, the next thing that the Knights of Wands here points, it is that once you start doing something, you got to see it through. What I mean is that you should not have a second guess should you withdraw from it or not. Just like with following rules for example once you start following those rules there is no going back and if you are determined enough to see the, those things through for example you determine to uh, marry the person you are with throughout the month of february you can definitely see this thing happening just you should not give up from that once again from that idea and from that goal the more you invest in that goal the more you're going to get out of it. So this is not a month where you have to be selfish. This is not a month, a month where you should be scarce with your resources. This isn't a month where you have to be greedy. The greedy, excuse me. This is a month where you give so you can get. 
So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your monthly tarot reading, February uh, 2020. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.